All right. Uh, hey, folks, thanks for sticking around for this one. We are on the growth stage, so I'll promise you some growth in the next four minutes, all right? There are going to be a lot of slides. I'll be quickly just going one by one by one, all right? All right. So just to give you some backstory. So my both teams, Belkins and Folderly, have been lucky to work with one of the best companies out there. With a lot of them, we've been collaborating on the cold emailing. So I'll be talking about some cold emailing stats right now. And I will not ask you guys to raise the hand who is doing cold email here because I'm sure that probably about 60 70 percent of you are either done that or doing that right now, right? For investors, partners, recruiters. So we are all in the some kind of email game. But you know, my teams are the best and the clients are the best in that. So with that being said, what we did, we took 10 million of emails, we analyzed all of them in the last 12 months, and here are some of the stats, all right? Here you go. So on average, the benchmark that you need to hit is 36% open rate and 7% reply rate. If you guys are below that, then you're kind of below the average. And then you guys can make photos or I will put the QR code at the end for the full study so you can just QR it, okay? Cool, let's go. So it takes 300 emails to generate one B2B lead, all right? So it means that sometimes if you don't generate enough leads, maybe you don't give the enough volume, right? So to kind of do that. now. Email sequence with between 250 to 500 leads has the best reply rate, right? Think about that. Contacting two or four leads per the same organization will give you better reply rate. So if you guys are targeting one lead per company or seven lead per company, it's either too few or too, uh, or too much, right? Now, the first follow-up email boosts your reply rate by 49%. So always do the follow-ups. Now, cold email campaign that has three steps have the best reply rate. So it means that if you have two steps or four or five, maybe it's better to kind of step back to three. Now, waiting three days before the second follow-up, it will give you the best reply rate, which is here 31%. Uh, now, open rate peak afternoon, open rate has the best peak between 2 p.m. or 4 p.m. All right, here you go. Reply rate has the best, uh, reply rate from 7 a.m., 10 a.m., I go next. So here you'll see on the screen some of the stats. So it means that the open rates are the best in the afternoon, the reply rates are the best in the morning. So expect your clients to reply you in the morning, all right? All right, so the best day of the week to send out your Gmail is Wednesday. Monday have the lowest open rate and the lowest reply rates. So don't expect a lot of emails on Monday. Open rates for cold entry peak in January and November. All right, why it's not working? Reply rates are the highest from April to June. All right, so this thing. All right, so reply rate, C-level has the best reply rate. All right. Founder is more likely to open cold email. All right. Uh, CDO, CEO has the best reply rate. Um, I'll just skip this one. This one, you'll kind of just add. And then countries with the highest open rates uh, and reply rates are actually European countries. And then you see Canada here with like 7% reply rate. And then uh, scan this QR code. You can get the full study with all the insights. And uh, yeah, thanks for your attention.